Hey, Scott Rohde, Field and Sports out here. We're at the Modern Buggy Open House and at their factory, if you take a look. Got a nice little display going here. We're getting ready before everybody shows up today. We're gonna show you a new model called the Little Buggy 12 LRK, living room, kitchen. This is something else, okay? This is gonna weigh in at around 1,600 pounds, which is a few hundred pounds lighter than anything else that has what this has. The other thing is, and I'll stand up in a second, is it fits in a garage, all right? If you're looking for the fireplace TV model that has the lounger and stuff, see if they measure it, all right? This one's 80 inches to the top of the rack, all right? Standard garage is 84. Some of these guys tip it at 82, 83, or a lot higher, and then they're too wide, all right? So that garage storage is huge because it's gonna save you at least $100 a month in inside storage fees. All right, so when you add that up over a few years, it's thousands of dollars. Plus it's gonna be saved, you know, it's gonna be stored in a lot better condition. So you're shopping for a small trailer, you want something you're gonna plug in a little bit more and it's a little more luxurious. This is the model. Um, compare that right out of the game. Demand that. All right, so I'm gonna stand up here and show you. I've got room underneath the awning here. This awning does light up, it has lights. It's got three different lights, it's got an amber, it's not on now at the moment, but white, and then a colored party one, all right? So that's 12 volt. When you're running, your battery, or if you're plugging in, it'll work either way. Awning goes out eight foot. I've got, oh, I've got about seven foot wide here, so I've got plenty of space. You can see we've got a little nice setup table and so forth. But if you look here, that's what the awning looks like closed, all right? If you come back to me, you'll see there's also a Skyden 10, and we'll explore that in a minute. But a, I don't know of any classic teardrop out there that has a roof rack that's rated at 600 plus pounds that will also hold a sky dam or a rooftop tent, RTT. Why you want that is because if you want to double your sleeping, you can, all right? If you want to go ahead and camp with somebody else and bring them along, you can. Otherwise, you've got to have them set up a separate tent and so forth. So whether you take on the rooftop tent or not, at least it's capable. All right, there are other classic teardrops out there. They don't offer it, look for it. They're a little softer. I said, I don't mind saying modern buggy. And one of the catchphrases, it's affordable overland in EV ready. So affordable overland means it's affordable. So this trailer, okay, will retail around $20,000. When you go out there and you see this trailer from others that have everything is on it, they start at the upper 20s and go into the 50s. All right. so. When we show you all the features on that, mark them down, keep track of what's important to you. This hopefully will have that, all right? So as I'm standing outside here, and, and I'm gonna back up, EV ready. Electric vehicles, if you're buying a new vehicle today, a lot of people are looking at electric vehicle, okay? What they need is lighter. This is lighter. What they need is a smaller footprint. This is smaller, 15 foot overall, right? And then they need less wind drag. Well, it's 80 inches all the way to the top and you can see the rack itself so we're about 70 uh two inches all the way here so your wind drag is less you're going to be able to tow this longer all right so electric vehicles have to pay attention to that so they don't have to pull over every hour and a half and charge for an hour keep that in mind when you're shopping all right so overlane what makes a trailer overlane you can see the chair here and i'll move this out of the way but it starts with the wheels okay you've got to have rough rugged tires all right, and you can see these, these can handle the dirt, the road, the ruts and so forth. Next thing you're looking for is my suspension. Well, the standard suspension is a Dexter axle. It's better than any other torsion axle out there. They've been making axles and brakes for over 50 years. Look for the sticker on there, look for the stamp. Sometimes it's marked out here. Let it say Dexter. We've got information on that as well. Our upgrade is Timberland. Timberland's an axle suspension, okay? And that is, gives you even more range, a smoother road if you're going more off-road. So going down the highway, going over most gravel roads, Dexter's fine, Timberland's your upgrade if you need that. You'll get another four inches for Timberland. So the third thing for Overland is you need ground clearance. 14 inches at the lowest point, okay? Take a tape measure with you. Look at others. Some of these other brands are using axles that really stick out, okay? And now, They'll say that they're off-road or what have you. I'm not gonna name the brand, but they're orange or, or other colors are red or yellow, and they're too big of a footprint. They actually add about 150 pounds per axle. 
So you're adding weight, whereas we are not adding weight. The timber only adds about 15 pounds to this axle, and the footprint is smaller. And timber has been doing it for about 50 to 60 years as well. So you can trust this brand. Some brands say trust us. Some brands will say they're classic. This is truly what you can, because it really depends on who's building it and what features they're using, okay? So the owner of Modern Buggy, they have been doing this, he's been doing it for over 35 years, he's been in the RV industry. His partners have been in decades each, all right? They have a very seasoned production crew and they're not trying to overbuild and go too fast, all right? So look for these guys. You can trust this brand uh, when you're out shopping. Overland, you've got tires, you've got suspension, and then you've got clearance. The other thing that we look for with Overland is on a small trailer like this, a lot of folks are looking for a storage box, okay? And what this does for you, it does a lot of things. Stores the battery, stores things, battery disconnect, and you can also strap stuff to the top if you had to. So you'll see on other trailers like this, not a box like this. If anything, it might have a battery, um, and that's usually from the dealership, not from the not from the manufacturer. These guys are getting it there. Something else you want to look for, and I've noticed this that shows is, like, let's just say I was out camping and this is dirt, right? These get damaged all the time. If you've RV'd before, this little thing, if it gets damaged, your clearance lights and your brakes might not work going home, all right? So when you get where you're going, a lot of them just leave it like that. You're gonna to wanna to store this. Simple, but look for that. And then also right here with the wheel, all right? You can move this around your storage space. You can move it around your campsite. Others just have a foot pad. So if you need to move it, you literally have to back up hitch up and, and start all over again. Let's go around this way, if you would. There are brands out there, and again, this brand, they really packed it all in. Behind the fiberglass, this is classic teardrop shape, all right, this is the 12 LRK. On the roof is also fiberglass, but behind all that is Astel. Astel is this composite that really protects your coach, okay? It doesn't mold, doesn't mildew, it's a better insulator, protects against moisture, uh, noise deafening, and all of that, deadening, I should say. So look for Asto behind this and on the roof, all right? Then the floors themselves are composites. You don't even have wood in your floors. There are brands out there that are worried about wood and so forth. Well, you don't have a wood floor and you don't have wood in your wall, all right? So then when you come on in, well, let's just keep walking around. So I looked at a brand the other day and they said they had a stand up or they didn't say they had a stand up, all right? But this is really hard to get your foot all the way up there, right? So these little corner steps, look for it. Super easy, not gonna hit my head, but I can easily stand up there. It's a lot easier for me and, and for you as well. Uh, weight capacity is 300 pounds. I've seen guys over 300 pounds not make a dent in it. Let's go on to the back here. These are vents for your air conditioner. We'll show you the air conditioner inside. It's really important on a small trailer. We didn't want to put the AC on top because if we put the AC on top, all that heat is going to go into the tent or into the storage, but it also takes away from our, um, our, our overall height. So we might not fit in the garage and it also would take away from wind drag. So you can see we put the AC in the coach and it's blowing towards the headboard instead of blowing to the side or at your head or just straight down. Look for an AC that blows this way. You won't regret it. Moving back here, there's a galley that matches it, all right? There's galleys out there in this category. You'll see a K2 cooler. You'll see an outer box. You might even see a little refrigerator, all right? That Who knows if that's going to make it going down the road, okay? What we put in here is a 12-volt cooler. This Campco cooler, I've got one in my truck, 45 liters. It's as big as we can get in there, but it's really neat because it runs on 12-volt comes with another adapter if you want to plug it into the wall. I've used it plenty of times. Turn this thing on. Okay. And you've got all these different settings, okay? Take a look at this. This was off all night long. Hasn't been on for over 12 hours. It's still 59 degrees. So I can change the temperature and set it at 30, which is what I normally do. There's different modes and we've done videos on that. There's your max mode. I can take it to eco mode. I can change my fan from high to low, medium. This thing has all kinds of different protections. You can also use a Bluetooth on it, and it's super light, okay? All there's start at 50 pounds, it starts at 30, and 
the warranty on it is better than others. I've seen one year, two year warranties, that's three year warranty as well. All right, look for that. You know why? Because you don't have to buy ice. These guys that say you're overlanding and we're going off road for two, three days, those coolers don't hold ice. I own them, you probably have owned them too. And then I gotta go hunt for ice. If I put food in there, it gets soggy. If I have drinks in there, they get warm. I got to constantly for ice, then I got to drain it, and then et cetera. Sorry to spend time, but that is killer. Then up here, what's really neat is, is a lot of these guys will give you either a couple burners. There is a local vendor that just gives you a, a griddle, okay? And the griddle has, it's really a knockoff of Blackstone. They have a little grease tray here. Look for the Blackstone name. All right, these guys are the ones you can trust. They're the ones that have been doing it. And the reason Blackstone today, if you went, if you have one or if you buy one, they put lids on it because it cooks faster. It also keeps the bugs out, okay? And then we got a carry storage bag because you can carry this Blackstone anywhere you want to go. So if I'm not using my camper, I can use my Blackstone, I can use my cooler, which is really cool because I've doubled the use of something I've spent some money on. This is really a, a, an upgrade as well. So you look at the one pound LP, all right? We've all used them. If you've camped once, you've, you've seen these, all right? Really inexpensive, very transportable. So now I can use this. Making this trailer more bulletproof than others. Others might have an LP line that I've got to worry about. They might have an LP tank that I've got to go ahead and worry about as far as it's full or not. These things right here, I can buy a couple of them. I'll make it through the whole week, weeks, depending on how much you're cooking and so forth. Um, they also come with another adapter, so if you want a Blackstone and you want to use your own 20-pound tank, 10-pound tank, feel free. This is what you'll get with us. You won't get the tank, but you'll get everything else. Back here, you'll see some storage. This is composite, so that's not wood. That's not going to rot either. And stainless steel sink. You've got a 10-gallon fresh water tank, which, if you look at water, it's 8 pounds a gallon. So if you filled it, it's 80 pounds. Some of these guys are out there and say, i got a 30-pound tank. You want to put 240 more pounds on here and tow that around, especially if you're going off road? Not me. All right, 10 gallons will get you through quite a long time, and you're going to bring fresh water and drink bottles anyway. So, going here, this is really unique. Others don't have it, but we've got a video on it. This removes, we take our sprayer, and then I can go ahead and spray things off or spray myself off. All right, if you don't have that, look for it. Yes. We still have a little spray port on the side, but right here, that's really cool. Fiberglass cap, I've got six foot five of height here. So if you're looking at a coach that has this to protect you, you want this. Some of them make you buy an awning. Some of them just have doors. Some of them have a pull out in the front where you gotta buy an extra awning just to cover where you're cooking. This is all built in, so you don't have to do anything extra. And you can see with the fiberglass, it'll got extra holders clamps and then the drop leaf so the light leaf solar but this is the drop leaf panel this panel so strong we can actually mount it on the front it can protect the window but you would twist this and you can look at some of our other videos twist off all right this will come off you can see the cord I can carry this around and follow the Sun why as you can see right now we're under trees that's that's what you kind of want with a campsite a lot of times right but I want to charge all day. So I can take this and pull it over there, put it anywhere. It's got a little kickstand on it. Check out our drop link video if you want more information on that. And also, one last thing is you can actually padlock this, all right? So some of these guys don't have panels. Most of them in this category don't have it, but some of them do. Look for this kind of panel. Um, others, if they just mount it, that's all you got. Big time upgrade. We go on to the inside here. And I'll go to the other side and point it here. All right, we saw a trailer the other day. They upgraded. What they had were two really thin mattresses. All right, the person in the video had to put one mattress on top of the other and sit on it. These are trifold sofas. There was a, a vendor here the other day, camps a lot. He goes, man, you know, I got caught in the rain. I could sit and make this a sofa. You can actually make a couple configurations with it. All right, six inch padding, 47 inches from here to here, plenty of headroom when you're in there to change your clothes, kneel around and so forth. The bed itself is 80 inches. I got a little more headroom if I want, all right? So an 80 inch bed's the same length as a queen, 58 inches wide, so you're just because of the walls, 
You're, uh, you've got a, a queen size bed in here, okay? Some people will ask about heat. Yes, that can heat. And we have other little buggies, and these can heat. A lot of people buy their own little heaters, okay? And you can get them at, from your dealership or Amazon or what have you. But, I mean, at 400 watts, I could put a little inverter and, and run a heater if I wanted to. The AC, obviously, I need a generator or a plug in. But, vented windows in the doors. Take a look at this. See this? I can open up these windows. I've got air coming across. But we're using an upgrade fan. It's the uh, Max Fan Plus. Okay? So, right here, look for it. You'll see some cheap fans. You'll see some that almost look like it. But, do they go in and out? This will take air out, which is what most do. But, also bring it in. So, let's just say... The night air feels great. You want to bring more in? Boom. All right. Again, another upgrade. Our competition's not doing And this is cool, too, right above your head. We know that people put their cell phones, their watches, their CPAP machines. So you've got 12-volt USBs or receptacles on both sides. Nice little mood light. And it switches over there. You don't have to turn it on and off. It's up to you. Over here, some storage. I can fit my backpack there. My wife can put her backpack there. All right. Storage overhead, real deep. And this wood, guys, I'm telling you, if you've shopped once, you've shopped twice. This is real birch wood, okay? So we have our own cabinet shop here. They stain it. I'm sorry. They sand it, stain it, sand it, stain it. And this is your natural birch stain color, okay? We, we'll show you in a minute. We also do a white birch. Well, we, uh, we do the birch in a white sand color. So if you like white, we can do that as well. Point right here, the auto detect. This is pretty important today, and a lot of brands are probably starting to go to it, but Wifco is a brand you can trust. Again, all these vendor items have been around a long time, we can trust them, all right? That right there, Wifco, will read whether it's a lead acid or lithium. A lot of folks are buying lithium. You can put it in that front storage box, and I didn't mention it. You're spending a lot of money on a battery, up to $1,000. You buy two of them, all right? You're gonna wanna lock them up. That storage box has a lock. So whether it's a lithium battery or a regular battery, see if your battery's locked up. If it's not, come back to us. Look for the modern buggy out there. Fireplace will heat this up. Obviously, your body heat will heat this thing up. Um, we talked about that. And let me look at the ceiling. One last thing is a lot of folks out there, I don't know anybody doing fiberglass. This is really smooth fiberglass. Everyone's using a wall board. It's vinyl. It can rot. It can get... You might not like the way it looks. This is just nice, smooth, such a clean finish. When you put your head in here, you'll notice right away. You would come this way with me. All right. So that's the sky then. The tent is not required. It's an option. And that's what it looks like without. It's your call. And if you follow me here. Okay. With the sky tent, with the sky den. All right, we, we had this out in a major storm not long ago. And we're talking tornado type stuff. You've got 92 inches that way, 58 inches that way. So my wife and our three kids, we could have camped in this anytime we want. If it's you and your buddy and three three guys, couple, a guy up here, a couple guys here, someone down there, you can really mix and match. If you want to add the W, like that. And you don't have to buy the sky name. But it'll hold, you know, if you've got a rooftop tent, it'll hold yours too. This is rated, like I said, it's 600 pounds. So at 105 pounds, you've got 500 pounds of bodies you can still put up there. And last but not least, this is not included. I just want to show you what a lot of overlanding people do. If you're somewhere where you don't, you're not plugged in, you're not in an RV park, they'll bring a changing room. Okay, and there's so many different changing rooms. We're not just we're not selling one. We're just showing you what can be done. All right, they'll put a cassette toilet in there. They'll put a bag type toilet, like a thunder box or a even one of those like little plastic containers, you know, and so forth. But you can have your toilet. You can also run that shower right into here, so you can shower in here. But there's different. This is a single size. It's six six. You can see the toilet paper storage. You have nice vinyl floor. So. If you're worried about, like, wow, where's my bathroom? It's right there. Okay, so if we didn't cover everything, you know, go ahead, send us some messages. You know, we'd love to hear what you think about it. Take a quick look, if you would, at the White Sands cabinetry in a different layout. That's a 10RK, but it's available in all of them. And if you would, just come on over here. 
So you've got two cabinet choices. Again, with modern buggy, we're showing, I could have started this way, but this is the Alpine white exterior. We also have a Area 51, which is a lighter gray, and a darker gray called the Onyx. And then we have a Mojave, which is a sand, a deserty look. So you have four exterior graphics, I'm sorry, ex colors. This graphic is the topo graphic, the blue mountains, the Coors Light, whatever you see on there. So this is one of the graphics, Cascades, and then Classic are the other two graphics. So where everyone else is selling you what they're building, we're giving you a choice to choose what you want. All right, I came from an area where all we did was one color, we did one cabinet, and we said, you know, do you, do you want it in black or do you want it in black? The old Henry Ford thing, all right? You're spending a lot of money, you're gonna spend a lot of time in it, you should love it. So when you're looking around at other brands, see if they give you that kind of selection. Modern Buggy does. Need anything else, send us a message. Look for us at modernbuggyrv.com and fieldandsports.com for more information. Love to hear your comments. Love to help you pick one out for yourself. Appreciate you coming out. Thanks.